Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you all how to build custom terrains with QGIS. This can be done for Arma 3 or DayZ. So, either way, the first thing I like to do is go ahead and initialize my project, double click, new empty project, go up here, save as. I'm going to make this on my desktop and let's give it a folder. Let's call this QGIS and we'll call it Cali. Let's go into here and let's call this map California. Great. We've got this far. We want to go and install a very important plugin to go forward. So you've got QGIS downloaded. Go up to Manage and Install Plugins. Hit Install from Zip down here. Navigate to the URL in the description in the GitLab. Go down here and download this zip file. Once that's downloaded, you can exit out of the web page and import it over here. Install plugin, close. You will notice you now have these two tools. If you didn't install the plugin, you won't have these two tools. Click Game Terrains. You'll notice game terrain tools have picked up, have popped up over here to the right. So, the first thing we want to do is uncheck anything that's set to export. Next, let's add a satellite map. There are three different sources you can get. We'll just use Google. Awesome. We'll make a map over here in the Cali Southern California mountains. Great. Let's export... No, no, no. Next, let's mark an area. I'm sorry about that, guys. Let's mark an area first. Then, export sat map. And hit export. It's very important that we mark our area first to signify where our map is and what we're exporting. Marking your area, you can see that the size of my map is up here. Exporting the map can take some time. So I'll be back with you when it completes. Awesome. Now it's complete and we're back. So let's continue, but let's uncheck export sat map. Now that we got our satellite imagery. Next, let's go over and download our height map. Our height map is going to transfer, transform this image into a gray and black, almost gradient image. Looks very weird. All that's doing is getting the uh, the height of the mountains around. This could take some time depending on what it's like, but this took didn't take too long. You can see right here while I'm speaking about, it usually does a large area, and you can see our height maps, and I'm assuming these are small valleys coming out of California. So that's really cool. Now that we've got our height map, let's go ahead and export that. You kind of see what we're doing here. We're going through, downloading this in a specific order, then exporting. We'll let that do its thing. We're almost there. Great, now it's exported. Let's then uncheck export on height map, go over to roads, and download those. Awesome. We can see quite a bit of things on this map now. We can see some trails, some roads, and some pathways. Just different type of roads you can check out over here on the left-hand side. 
These are our layers that we've downloaded. Now that we've got the roads downloaded, let's export them. We're not finished quite yet. Our shapes haven't exported. Or so they have. Great. Uncheck those. And we want to go back to our mask and export mask. Great. Now, let's go up. Let's just save our project. We're pretty much finished now, but this will be our base layer for our terrain. Let's go over and check out our folder that we made. So this is the QGIS Cali that we made. We saved the project in here. And these are all the base layers that we generated. And over here are our exports. This is the most important thing that you will use. This is where you'll get all of the things you need to use in Terrain Builder. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So to start off, we want to make sure that we've mounted our P drive and we've extracted our game data. You'll only need to do this once. So just make sure you've extracted your game data and your P drive is mounted. Okay, let's open up Terrain Builder. That little error right there is because I deleted my last project. That's okay. So the first thing you need to do is go up. Let's add a map frame. Hit OK. Now, we'll want to add in our name, our map name. So our map name is going to be California. Next, we want our output root folder. Notice this, guys. It has to be on our P drive. So let's locate our P drive. It's going to be on this PC, P drive. And we need to make a new folder for our map. So we'll call it California. Please follow my naming conventions. If you guys are whatever map you're using, this needs to be all the same. So if you named your map Texas, it would be Texas P Texas. So so go ahead and hit create subfolders. Okay. Let's change this uh this stuff to two and then our northing to zero. Let's go into samplers. Let's make samplers, let's make our grid size forty ninety six, our cell size ten. Or let's 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 make it twenty forty eight and our cell size ten. Sorry. Resolution 1. That's good. That's good. And our texture layer 40 by 40. So take a moment. Get your settings just like mine. Okay. Awesome. Now from here, the first thing we want to do is hit rebuild terrain. Alright. Go ahead and hit OK. Now, a couple different things that we're going to have to do here. So, Let's go ahead, number one, let's minimize Terrain Builder. Let's open up our P drive, navigate to California. Then let's go to our base files here that's located in our GitHub repo. You want to go ahead and copy over config in the base directory. Then you'll want to go over to source and copy over layers and map legend. Now, we're going to do a couple different things here. We're not finished. Let's start from the top of the root directory. Open up the config file. See how this says something right here? Let's right click if we're using Visual Studio Code and change that to our map name. Great. Our map name is saved. Let's go through and make sure everything is saved what we want it to be. 
Awesome. We're good on this file, I think. Let's close out. Then let's go to our source folder. Let's rename map legend with lowercase. You guys might not have to do this. I'll update the GitHub repo. Let's open up layers. Let's go down to picture and let's change the last map name to our current map name. Then let's update the lowercase letters on map legend. Great. Okay. Let's open back up Terrain Builder. Then let's go to Properties, Processing, Layers Config File. Now, this is very important. Go to your P drive, not your C drive. P drive, California, Source, Layers, Open. Awesome. We're good there. We just wanted to get that set up. We're going to come back here in a moment. But now, let's begin importing our map. So the first thing I want to do, let's make sure we have all of these checked up here. Then, import terrain. Navigate to where your QGIS folder is for your map. Go to the export folder and click on height map open. That will be your terrain. It doesn't take too long for this to load up. Great. Then let's open up our satellite map. When you see the satellite map right here, if it's missing any squares or there are black parts, you need to open up QGIS again and regenerate your satellite map. It is corrupt. This happens to me commonly. So just verify it. Next, we will be adding in our surface mask. Great. Now that our surface mask is generated and added to our map, let's just rearrange these here. These don't have to be rearranged, but I'm very specific with how I do things. So let's go ahead and we want to rebuild terrain. Now when we rebuild it, notice how this default map frame changes. Great. So that's a way of knowing that we've made progress so far. We're doing good. It's Next, let's export satellite texture, export surface mask, and convert exported textures to PAA files. Then hit generate layers. This takes a lot more time than the previous steps, so I'll see you when this is finished. And once that's loading, one important thing that'll say, hey, I'm on the right track, is these. These two command prompts are going to be copying over your layers file to your P drive. So if we went and looked there, um, yeah, they're getting generated. So we're going to wait a moment. This is another lengthy process. Um, just go ahead and wait for this to close out. And then after we close this out, we're going to run Bulldozer. So we'll see you then. Great. So now our layers have been generated and we can continue. The first thing that we want to do before we open up Bulldozer is go ahead and export our WRP. We will export it to our P drive. Now we're not going to export it um, anywhere else. It's going to be here. So we're going to export it California. Mine's already there. Uh, I've tested it, but we're just going to go ahead and hit save. And great. It's done. Then we can go ahead and hit Bulldozer. Now, I had some problems with Bulldozer, so I just want to show you guys my settings. 
my project directory is referencing the C drive. Yeah, that actually needs to be changed. It needs to reference California on the C drive, not the P drive. And on the C drive, it's referencing the Daisy EXE. We have our launch parameters, so it's dash bulldozer, dash window, dash no pause, dash mod, equals dash profiles, P for bulldozer, and then name bulldozer. Our data directory, we hit OK. Now we're going to launch bulldozer. This usually is a little bit slow, but you should be in game within two minutes. Sweet. So around one to two minutes later, we're in game. So the first thing I want to do is press 5 on my numpad. I'm going to press F10. That's going to execute the custom script. Um, that's in my GitHub. Press Q to rise uh, up, and wow, we have the California mountains. Isn't this pretty? We just generated this from real world data. Really neat. So it is quite big, but it's kind of hard to fathom what this looks like in game, right? So let's go ahead and check that out. We'll want to hit exit. Sometimes you have to Alt F4. Who knows? Either way. We'll make sure we hit save our project. I'll show you guys how I saved my project in case that was missed. It's going to be saved in our source, Terrain Builder, as our map name. So you can see it right here, California. And it's under the same name. I'd like to override it. Sure. Doesn't matter. Great. We can now exit Terrain Builder. The next tool that we're going to be using is called PBO Project. It's very important that you run this program as administrator. The link to download this is in the GitHub README. When you download this, you'll need some of the other additional programs from this user, this individual. After you download all the programs required and install them, this program will work. Start it up as admin. Your mod output folder needs to be your C drive and it needs to be the mission. So you might have to go make that. So for instance, I've already got it. But you, you might have to make, you know, at California. We're going to go ahead and select that. Our source folder has to be our P drive. It cannot be the C drive, okay? So go to our P drive, find California, select folder, we're good. Our PBO name stays the same. All this stays the same. Go into setup. Warnings are errors. Uncheck this right here. OK. OK. Crunch. When you crunch this, there will be little periods that pop up on this. There's two different sets. This will take around 30 to 45 minutes to pack. Once it's packed, you will either be greeted with a hallelujah song or a daunting piano. Either way, this will tell you the specific error that you are receiving. I want to talk about how to add the DAISY community offline mode. Let's pull up our Steam directory. Let's go into missions. Let's over here, let's look at our community offline missions. And let's copy over Chinaris, en Enoch, and Namask. Copy it over here. Once it's copied over, I want you to copy Chinaris Plus. Just copy the entire thing, copy and paste. Rename it 
to empty.california. Great. Close out of both now. Then open up Daisy. Go to parameters. Go to mods. Make sure nothing else is in here. Click at California. Under our C drive, we got our mod loaded. Now let's go to our mission. Great. I just like to go back to my mods and verify I don't have anything else loaded, and I did. Let's unload that, and let's just verify that at California was added by adding at California right here. Great. Now, let's hit play. A lot of times when there is an issue generating textures or you have used the wrong drive instead of your P drive, the mission will get hung up right here. This should be a very quick load in if it's done correctly. You can see that we've loaded in with under a minute. It's about to load in. Great. Awesome. So we are now in the fields of California. No, the fields of California. I mean, right near the hills. We can hit insert to fly around and hit shift. We cannot change the fog uh, with F10 scripts anymore because we're actually in game, but we can fly around and just check it out. You know, I mean, this is like a real road down here, so we we'll insert. Uh, you can generate the roads using QGIS, but for now, let's press Y. Let's go to G. Let's spawn a sedan and or anything really. Let's hit execute and. Uh, Hit escape, and great. So check it out, guys. We have generated a real-world map. We're playing single-player on it. And we've spawned in a car. So hopefully this video series has really helped you guys out. And this sets you on your way to building whatever you see in DayZ. I really hope that whatever you learned today can really help you out. Have a good day.